Hello fellow primates, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up AG Grid Enterprise inside an existing view project. As a starting point, we're going to use this example on the left hand side. It's very basic AG Grid community setup. We have row data, column definitions, default call def, and we are loading data remotely inside on mounted lifecycle. When we look at package.json, we can see this project is using AG Grid community and AG Grid view 3, which is what you need for a community version of AG Grid. Let's open our console open second terminal and install AG Grid Enterprise using npm install AG Grid Enterprise. If we have a look at package.json now, it has three entries. All three are needed to use AG Grid Enterprise in view. AG Grid Community contains all the core and free features. AG Grid Enterprise contains all of the paid features of AG Grid. If you're using Enterprise, you still need Community. None of the features are copied across into Enterprise. They work alongside each other. AG Grid View 3 is the view rendering wrapper. Let's return to our view app and have a look at the grid before the import of Enterprise. When I right click on a cell, you can see the normal browser context menu. And when I open column menu, it shows a filter but this will change once I import AG Grid Enterprise. So let's go to the top of the file and import AG Grid Enterprise and hit save. That's all you need to get AG Grid Enterprise working. Now, when I right click on a cell, you can see AG Grid context menu, which can be customized. When I open column menu, it's just much nicer. We also have filters and column management. Those things just happen automatically. And now also we have glorious amounts of enterprise features at our fingertips. Let's use some to give you a taste and group some rows. In column definition for country, I will add row group true. And by looking at the grid, we can see rows have been grouped by country. If we add row group onto another column year, we can see that rows are grouped first by country and then by year. Suppose you wanted the user to group rows however they like by using the grid's UI. To do this, let's remove row group true in column definitions, add enable row group true in default column devs to apply this property across all columns. Add UI drop zone for the column grouping by adding row group panel show always in component tag. Now, if we refresh our view, we can see drop zone at the top here and I can drag any column into the drop zone to group by. There are heaps and a whole slew of enterprise features. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go through all of them in this video. To see what they are, go to our website, click on documentation and select the section you need. And you will notice that some of the features have a red E symbol beside them. It means that feature is only available in AG Grid Enterprise. If you want to use AG Grid Enterprise in your application, then you need to get a license key from us. And if the license key is missing, you'll get this error message in the console. The grid will also show a watermark showing that it's not licensed if your application is running on anything other than localhost. But don't let the warning message or the watermark scare you away. It is free to try AG Grid Enterprise. So please download it, build a sample app, put it into your own app, see what you think. If you don't want the warning message or the watermark to appear in your trial, then get in touch and we'll give you a trial license key. Just email info at aggrid.com. And when you've made a decision that AG Grid is right for your app, then again, please get in touch by email info at aggrid.com and we'll happily sell you a license key.